So we simply mark the specimen in a way that orients our tissue. We put blue dye at 12 o'clock right in the nick. We put yellow dye at 3 o'clock. And that simply allows us to orient the specimen so that when the tissue is actually cut, the dye will be seen when we look at the specimen under the microscope and we'll know which way is up, which way is to the right, down and to the left and so forth. We also put red dye at 9 o'clock. It's probably not necessary, but at least it's what we do. Now the specimen is taken back to the laboratory for processing. The defect is measured and then bandaged and the patient is then left to sit comfortably while the tissue is processed back in the laboratory. Now we're in the Mohs Histotech lab and the specimen that you just saw being removed is being further worked with so that the edges are flattened. The goal is to get the tissue around the edges in the same plane as is the deep margin. So when this little disc of tissue is put into the cryostat to be cut, what makes the procedure so unique is that the tissue will be cut from the base in such a way that the entire base and the peripheral will be seen so the specimen will now be mounted on a so-called chuck. The specimen is flattened. The specimen was placed on the cryostat and the blade is cutting across the specimen and the micro thin sections are being picked up placed on a microscope slide that will then undergo staining. The blade goes across the base of the specimen it's picked up by a microscope slide and then the slide is processed the slides are then placed on this uh, stainer that then sequentially goes through a process where the tissue is stained so that you can differentiate cancer cells from normal tissue. The staining process takes place and in the end we will end up with microscopic slides that look like this. This shows the difference between the standard vertical sections where you have a relatively small amount of tissue that is processed versus a horizontal section that shows a much greater surface area. In this case, the block is simply cut or the tissue is simply cut like a bread loaf and you have a small section to where you're seeing the skin and the dermis but you're not seeing the entire specimen or the entire undersurface as you see here in this round disc-like specimen.